Yeah, hello everyone. My name is Ranmari Shorkar. Uh, so welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, so as I mentioned uh, in my last video uh, that I'll be coming with uh, some more uh, physics related videos. So here I am. Uh, so today I'll be uh, discussing uh, slightly uh, different topic. So actually this is related to my uh, <coughs> PhD and research activities as uh, actually. Uh, so but I will be connecting uh, some basic basic physics uh, to that of what I generally uh, do uh, uh, as part of my research career. Uh, so basically I will be uh, my uh, <coughs> main uh, topic will be uh, somehow uh, centered with uh, I mean the term called mechanics. So, uh, so some part I will be discussing about uh, about uh, from basic of classical mechanics, and then I will try to uh, connect the story uh, to that of quantum mechanics, and uh, followed by uh, certain other um, uh, quantum uh, certain other effects that uh, the subsequent effects that can be uh, seen in material science or uh, in um, using uh, the material properties uh, i mean the realizations of these effects in in, in our daily life material systems starting uh, uh, from some uh, basic concepts uh, so to start with i have actually ordered some apple uh, today uh, so while i was uh, having these apples uh, i was thinking like uh, the same story that was already there i mean that uh, famous exam uh, famous uh, story of falling an apple uh, from a tree and why uh, and the question is why the apple will fall from a tree uh, to the ground and and the emergence of of, of the uh, gravitational acceler accelerations and um, this topic has emerged so that that we all know so starting from there and uh, taking uh, so i actually why not uh, then i thought why not started uh, why not starting um, today's discussions from somewhere around that so uh, some, some some i mean while taking care of this gravitational acceleration and i mean also i have discussed in earlier videos regarding a potential energy and all so uh, actually the mechanics of a system mechanics of a particle uh, uh, from while discussing it from the viewpoint of classical mechanics uh, is something uh, i mean we need to uh, we need to um, follow uh, and then and then uh, the famous laws that uh, newton's uh, laws of motion uh, for example uh, every reaction uh, every action has a um, has an uh, equal amount of reaction so this i am also experiencing with my partner that whatever uh, the kind of uh, action you are uh, i'm giving to her uh, i'm also getting some kind of a, a similar kind of a reaction so again i'm keeping aside this personal thing and now uh, so again starting from this newton laws of motion and things like uh, this momentum conservations and uh, taking some idea from there uh, so uh, and then and then these are like classical mechanics things so uh, so the momentum p is can be written as as mass times the velocity so p is equal to mb but uh, but uh, but then then uh, i mean we can also connect it to the i mean then slowly if we if we if you start from there and slowly move towards this uh, uh, towards this uh, shorter length scale uh, where the length scale uh, and the shorter length scale means uh, so that actually uh, comes with uh, another uh, famous term called de Broglie wavelength uh, or uh, then Planck's constant so these ideas uh, these uh, concepts will come into the picture so uh, a length scale of, of uh, compared to that de Broglie wavelength and then this wave uh, particle duality wave particle nature so in a nutshell if we just uh, started from this uh, Newton's law of motions with P is equal to mb and then slowly uh, uh, move towards this uh, concept of wave particle duality and this de Broglie wavelength and slowly come uh, to and start taking into consideration the relativistic effect uh, and and then and then keeping uh, then placing uh, a charge particle uh, a particle with a particular amount of charge uh, in a magnetic field and then how its motion how its uh, momentum will change um, that itself will give rise to a whole new branch 
so yeah if you now uh, place a charged particle in a magnetic field uh, so its uh, momentum uh, the equation of momentum will now change so p is equal to mb will then change uh, to uh, some i mean that uh, equation uh, p is equal to mb will now be changed to uh, different uh, form so uh, this is uh, where uh, we starting from these equations uh, certain different uh, phenomena for example uh, the emergence of quantum hall effect then uh, subsequently quantum spin hall effect quantum anomalous hall effect and their uh, different other uh, new phenomena has been emerged uh, in recent past so this is where i uh, generally am um, very much interested in working and this is where i have been working closely uh, during my phd and subsequently i would like to continue uh, in that so in that uh, field as i mean in in, in this uh, 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 field of research as uh, if i say so uh, what will i just mention today is so for example uh, the emergence of quantum hall effect uh, so what you have is that uh, you have a in, in in two dimensional system two dimensional means you have only one uh, x and y you don't have z uh, as a matter of so the way i will i would like to show you is that for example if you uh, see this uh, the dimension in my back so you have one dimension is there where you, the door can be seen and then another dimension is here uh, towards me uh, the, where the window and this wire is can be observed another dimension uh, another one is this uh, floor i mean where i'm standing currently so uh, and if i say that the i'm discussing only about this two dimension then cut this uh, this dimension this dimension bring it to there only on floor let's say and uh, this floor you have only two, two dimension this dimension and this dimension so it is like this so you have only x dimension and y dimension so x y dimension so if you uh, now consider about a vertical motion in this x y dimension considering a homogeneous electron gas uh, what do you mean by homogeneous electron gas that means electron density is uh, same uh, throughout this uh, diamond i mean it's throughout this uh, two dimension uh, two dimension plane if we say if i say so then the emergence of quantum hall effect uh, then the emergence of uh, formation of what you call landau levels uh, will be there and from there uh, there will be landau level, landau degeneracy uh, will be there so these are basically like uh, the the energy levels uh, how the energy levels of this particle how the uh, the motion of this particle will change these are just like the manifestation of uh, of this uh, effects uh, and then uh, followed by this so here uh, while observing this uh, quantum hall effect systems you need uh, presence of external magnetic field so uh, so the presence of magnetic field uh, external magnetic field is very much important uh, while discussing about connecting um, so th there are other few uh, branches and there are other few uh, new uh, phenomena that can be observed is quantum spin hall effect <coughs> quantum anomalous hall effect so it is kind of a similar kind of a thing of quantum uh, hall effect but in quantum spin hall effect uh, there is no uh, there is no presence of external magnetic field however uh, it is the spin orbit coupling so uh, this is a term that i am using uh, so spin orbit coupling uh, will play a very important role uh, in describing quantum spin hall effect uh, but there are another topic uh, there are another branch quantum anomalous hall effect so here <clears throat> Uh, again so here uh, you don't have an external magnetic field but your system is, uh, itself is a magnetic system so your system will have a non-zero uh, magnetic moment and that will play an important role in describing the physics related to quantum anomalous hall effect so uh, in current times i have been uh, doing uh, my research work related to these two phenomena actually quantum spin hall effect and quantum anomalous hall effect so, so again uh, so quantum spin hall effect is there is uh, let's say there is a there is a term called spin orbit coupling so that will uh, play an important role uh, in describing the equation of motion in describing the motion of uh, of, uh, of the particles 
uh, and in quantum anomalous hall it is the intrinsic magnetic moment uh, it is the intrinsic magnetic moment of the system that will uh, play the important role uh, in quantum spin hall effect uh, the manifestation uh, in the broader uh, uh, in, in a broader perspective is uh, what we call as topological uh, insulating system uh, so in in higher dimension i mean in three dimension so this this uh, the connection of this or the manifestation are the consequences of this quantum spin hall effect in three dimension is called topological insulator topological insulating system uh, so uh, this is uh, just like the thing is so uh, so topological insulating system if i say well, then we generally uh, in a simple language you generally say that the, that the, uh, the will have a conductivity around the edges but the, in the uh, in the bulk uh, the system is uh, not conducting so the con i mean we have a gapless boundary modes however we don't have uh, the modes uh, in the bulk uh, so if we just say it in a very simple language uh, the way i would like to describe it okay Yes, so uh, as I just mentioned regarding this topological insulating uh, system, uh, so research has been going on in realizing this topological insulating systems in um, so that we can use it uh, in our daily life activities. Uh, so one way of doing is that uh, can we use it as a switch? Can we use the topological systems as a switch? Can we uh, can we uh, utilize the physics of topological switching uh, in our daily life activities? The answer is yes, we can. Uh, the, the way is, uh, I mean, in one uh, hand, we'll be having, so we, we need to find a tuning parameter, uh, which uh, will give us the freedom uh, to tune from a topological uh, trivial system to a topologically non-trivial system. In topological trivial system, by means, I, uh, by topologically trivial system, I mean uh, the systems will be behaving like a normal insulator. In topologically non-trivial system means where this uh, physics related to this, uh, I have just mentioned regarding quantum spin hall effect quantum anomalous hall effect this uh, the physics related to this uh, will then uh, come into the picture so now uh so one way of thinking uh, this system is as i mentioned earlier of uh, heating water uh, so the thing is uh, we generally use uh, um, uh, in our daily life is called thermostat so it is something uh, that takes care of this electrical full flow uh, for example in a water heater or in uh, in somehow uh, if we say in uh, in some uh, like uh, how will you control the temperature for example if you have a if you have a system where the temperature needs to be controlled and you have connected that system to a uh, to your electrical socket and you just leave it as it is so up and you set the temperature uh, to a particular value for example 100 degrees celsius 200 degrees celsius and you are moving around and up you will after a certain point you will see that the temperature has gone to that point and it's staying there now who is controlling that I mean, how is how that uh, thing is getting controlled? So um, we, I mean, this is I mean, these things are obviously com complicated. But uh, I mean, we can just uh, I mean, for the sake of uh, learning or for the sake of enjoyment, we can just uh, I mean, use the term I mean, thermostat uh, regarding this. So again, uh, the underlying physics uh, can be uh, uh, can be thought of as like uh, I mean, what we observe in Peltier effect in Civic uh, effect. Um, so right there regarding these effects, uh, the thing is, uh, so if you have a thermocouple, uh, so uh, uh, it's like uh, the best way it's called hot coffee. Uh, so uh, the way to, to remember, I used to remember it's hot coffee. So if you have a, a thermocouple junction of copper and Fe, that is iron. Uh, so the um, so there will be a potential dependence, and there, I mean if you flow the current in along a particular direction, what will happen is the junction will heat up. So yes so this is uh, just the funny way uh, of remembering is uh, called hot coffee uh, so i mean it's cu i used to uh, pronounce that co and it's fe is fee so uh, so if you have a again if i'm repeating it so if you have a, a thermocouple junction with uh, copper and iron and and, and then um, the electric electrical flow uh, will generate uh, given the direction will, will generate uh, will generate uh, heat uh, along uh, 
at the junction uh, so uh, this way uh, i mean the uh, heat uh, I mean generation of heat and the temperature can be controlled uh, given uh, the material systems with which these thermocouples are, are made of uh, so uh, regarding this i mean uh, the with this kind of a similar topic or uh, this kind of a similar uh, physics ideas uh, topological switching systems can also be observed where uh that way i would like to uh, that way i would like to think or i generally uh, i'm generally interested in finding is why not using magnetism as a uh, tuning parameter so uh, in one hand you have a system where no magnetism is there so uh, the system will behave in a certain way but as soon as you are starting uh, you have started giving uh, some amount of magnetic magnetism within the systems so uh, you are applying an external magnetic field to that system the system now will behave like a, a, I mean the behavior of the system will now completely change uh, so in one hand you will have a, a for example uh, topologically insulating system and, and another hand will may have a topologically different system and, um, for example you will have you will have a topological crystalline insulating system again these uh, terms i am using uh, so uh, i will maybe sometime later i will try to describe these things in a simpler way so uh, in this way uh, pl uh, playing with this magnetism playing with these topological systems um, can be very interesting and uh, at the end of the day it is like realizing these systems in our daily life activities will give us an immense satisfaction so with that with that i'd like to say thank you uh, stay tuned i'll be coming with more uh, physics related videos and if possible please subscribe thank you